and we are wiser, surely. But then what happens to Swaraj, what happens to India, what happens to the 1.2 billion people? Is God consciousness not relevant to them? Yeah. So, Thank the you action so program. You're Thank so you. Right. you. You mean what is the action program of the... Yeah, the those team? who speak, those who have the knowledge, if they have to shoulder the responsibility of an action program to a target audience in a timeline, sometimes the knowledge seems to uh, be inadequate or sometimes it has to be, you know, tick trickle away. Yeah. So, Very good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I don't, know, I don't know if I heard it right or not, but I think you said that uh, spiritually, uh, spirituality does not have a domain or a sphere of its own and it permeates like economic politics and all the spheres. Which I agree is quite right if you're talking of Hindu Swaraj, because Swaraj was not just about politics or self-rule, it was also, as you said, it was self-control and it was basically easy. It, was, it also had a spiritual appeal. But um, what I would like to know, I mean, I'm probably I'm coming back again to the debate that we, ha we had in the morning about categories and polarized, polarized categories. Is um, how did uh, Mahatma Gandhi in his writing relate Hind Swaraj to this another concept which he widely used was Ram Raj. Because if you look at Ram Raj, it's a very culturally specific Hindu concept. I mean, Ram is something which rings bells with Indians, I don't know, with, uh, with Hindus, but what about the rest of those who belong to other religions? So, no, I'm getting to complete this. Because why I'm asking this question is that a lot of things, I mean, since yesterday has been said about spirituality, but people are not addressing the whole issue of spirituality without being rooted in a particular religion. I mean, can we have, are there two distinct categories, spirituality and religion? Probably that would require another conference by itself. But I'd, I'd like, just like to have your opinion on possibly what would happen. Mahatma Gandhi stand on that, since you've read such a great deal about Thank you. him. Uh, earlier, I have decided that I will not make any comment because I think the spiritual discourse has gone so uh, long that I need to say something now. <laughs> Let's choose for. Oh, please be brief, Chief. Okay. Let's choose. Um, this comment is about the style which you have chosen to present your ideas, and that gentleman has chosen to present his ideas. Let's have four texts. Let's say four texts. Let me say there are four people where you are sitting with four texts. You are sitting with Hind Sabrath. I am sitting with Communist Manifesto. Somebody sitting with Prigram Progress and the fourth one sitting with Guru Granth Sahib. At the end of all these texts, if I have to argue, I'll say, look at this text of Communist Manifesto. These are good points. This, 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 this. And then you say, why it has failed? My answer will be human lethargy. People don't want. They are subjectively, they are full of greed. Calm, clothe, love, moh, hankar. That's why he didn't succeed. Then the Christian comes and he brings a pilgrim's progress and he elaborates all the good ideas. Same idea which he was saying because underlying all religion are the same good ideas. So he'll say, Christianity has failed. The word should have been Christian by now. And that was by the day. 16th century, all the Christians believe that in the coming 100 years, the world will be Christian. But then they say, why is it the world has not become Christian? Because the people, Tam Krodhlo Mohankar, people have not done it. Say that. Huh? Then, <coughs> then, I belong to the Sikh tradition, I'll bring Guru Granth Sahib, and everything which has been said here is there. Is the, is, the, is the essential knowledge of all the civilization currents in this country. And when you round, See the Sikh society and the Punjabi society. I ask the question, why the Sikhs have failed? The same answer, come to no <laughs> So I'm saying you are engaging in a mode of thought with us. We can't argue with you in this mode of thought because we all agree with you already when you were started in that sense. No? Now, the question at the end, I think it would be much more worthwhile to ask the counter question. And that counter question is, what is that consciousness which inspired an other Hindu in this country who shot Mahatma Gandhi. I want you to trace the antecedents back into history, back into civilization, back into ideology, back into spirituality, which produced that man whose name has inseparably linked up Mahatma Gandhi. You need to confront that question.
course. And I don't want to give a counter discourse, but I think I should stop. And I mean, I am very much tempted to do that, but I should stop here. Thank I, you would, I, would, I would love to listen to your discourse. But would you please, sir, give your name? Bhagwan Singh. My name is very big, Bhagwan. Very shortly, Look, Mahatma Gandhi in one place says this that whenever I talk to women, I use Ram Rajya rather than Suraj. Okay? But I think the reason is. Why? Why should that be? Pardon me? I, I'm sure he must have given a reason for that. No, no. He, he has given reason, but I mean, it will take a long time because, you know, this becomes a question again of feminism, this, that, and the other. So, I mean, it will take a long discussion. But point is, 